Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing my plan with me video for the month of August. Now I know it's like the 20th, but I had this footage and I completely forgot about it. So I thought I would go ahead and load it up so that people could see what I did for the month of August. I used that washi tape that I got at Daiso, so that pineapple washi tape sitting there and those stickers are from Daiso. And that Tropical Life paper pack is from Michaels. So I did kind of a tropical theme, pineapple tropical theme this week, so I hope that you enjoy. Let's go ahead and see what I did. Okay, so I started with the washi tape because I wanted to put down some of the tape on like every other row. And I thought I was going to want to use this pink washi tape because I thought it was cute and I wanted to try to bring in some of the pink from the page. But after I actually got it on there, I ultimately didn't like it once I kind of started doing the other pa papers. So you see I change it and I actually make it the other washi that tape that was in the packet. I just took this pineapple paper from that Tropical Life paper pack um, that I bought at Michael's. It was actually 80% off. So um, I'd seen it in there a lot of times, but I had never purchased it just because um, it wasn't 80% off. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm just going to get them a couple boxes cut up and then just organize it a little bit to see where exactly I need more boxes. And I'm not going to cover up the weekends this week because I do add in some pink with the different elements that I'm adding. So the pink, and even the yellow, and all that really match very well. So I didn't have to cover up the entire weekend um, boxes, which is nice. And then once I get all of those boxes cut up, I've kind of just arranged them. And that's when I really decided that I did not like the pink. I felt like it was really clashing with that paper. And then I went ahead and cut this little cut apart out that had the pineapple on it and said stay sweet. That's from the same paper pack. So then you'll see here, I'm going to rip that paper, that washi off, and put in the new washi tape. And when I put the washi tape in, I do um, use my X Acto knife just to make sure that I have a really clean cut um, on the edge. And then just testing it out here with the paper, making sure I liked it, and I did. So I went ahead and took it off the bottom and on this other page. And then I'm going to line it up so that it's lined up on the other page. And then I'm going to get that all on there. And then I'll start use doing the boxes. And as always, I want to go ahead and make sure that I have the number cut out. So I'm just going to go through and cut out each of the little squares so that I can see the number through the box. And I'm going to grab this glue dots permanent tape roller and then use that to and here on my boxes and you don't really have to use a lot of that tape roller because the tape is fairly strong it's a permanent tape that's pretty um, strong tape so you just have to use a couple little swipes and then it'll stay on there all right so like I said I wanted to try to add in some more pink so I'm looking for a specific piece of paper in here. I was debating against that pink one or this one. So what I decided to do was, I am actually going to use this, but I'm only gonna be using the border. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. I The border was almost the right exact size to put into the planner. So I just went and I cut it just on the tip of where that the words were. And then I was able to get a couple of boxes. So you can see I kind of figuring out which designs I want to use. I definitely wanted to use that pineapple. And then I wanted to use that one with the leaf, but I didn't really want to have that toucan in the picture. So I just 
cut him out. <laughs> and then I wanted to pull in just a couple of more. So I'm just trying to debate on which ones would work. And so I decided to go ahead and use the little part where the flamingo was because I wanted to pull in some of that pink. And I loved that there was a pineapple right next to it. So I needed to get the word that I had cut off, um, off of there. So I just went ahead and cut around it. And then I'm going to place that right there in that corner. And then I decided to take another piece for the top. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut around that as well once I decide which side I'm going to use. Um, and then I'm just going to cut that and then I'm going to cut around it so you can kind of see the I wanted to include that little pink flower there on the end and um, just cut around it and then I'm going to place that up there at the top. All right, and then I think I just use one more piece. Maybe not. Wait, hold on. Let me get it all organized. Okay, yeah, I used that one piece right there with the little bird. And I'm going to, since it didn't quite fit, I just decided since it was just white space there that I would just, it was fine because it was white space. All right, and then what am I doing? Okay. Okay, I'm going to cut that other cut apart out there to make a little list for my side panel. And then I wanted to go ahead and put down some of that washi tape to you know, just add some more pineapple to the page. So you can see here, I'm just trying to line it up. And then that third uh, washi strip was just a little bit too thick. So I just went ahead and grabbed my cutter here. And I'm just going to cut a little strip from that washi tape. And include it there on the side. And trim it up. And then what I decided then was I wanted to bring in some more of that bright pink pay, uh, color that came from the numbers on the page. So I had this washi tape that I bought at the Dollar Tree. It was kind of um, the thin washi, so I just added that here and there on the page. page. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and use my Premier Glue Dots glue, run, glue Tape. And, oh, I just decided to trim that one. And then use my tape runner there to adhere that on. And then cut out, I need to cut out the little numbers and get everything glued down. So I, that's what that one looks like. And the one thing that I love about this glue dots glue tape is that it does tape on washi. So a lot of glue tape is not strong enough to tape over like a really um, slick washi tape and this that tape runner definitely does so it's nice that it's a pretty strong adhesive all right so then once I get all those pieces glued down I decided yeah that I wanted to add some additional washi on this side and then I think I also added up at the top where the number 2017 is so I do that here in a minute. Once I get everything glued down. And um, what I'm gonna do, I get a lot of questions regarding the glue dots um, runner, tape runner that I'm using. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start leaving a link down at the bottom um, of the tapes that I'm using. Just so if you're interested, you could go ahead and check that out. Um, it definitely is a lot easier and quicker than using my previous glue, which was used to be glue, glue sticks. I love this a lot better. Okay, once I get that washi tape down and everything glued down, I'm just going to add a couple more things to the top. I wanted to add in that little word strip there and put some washi tape down and then I'm just going to add that there again using the tape runner to adhere that on 
All right, and then I just had some of those pineapple stickers that I bought at Daiso. So I wanted to include some of those in there too. So I just went ahead and threw those in, threw them there. And then I had that summer. And then I ended up doing a little bit of planning on the page, but didn't really show that because it wasn't too much going on. You can see I added like a payday sticker and that not the couple little things on there. So there you go. That's my monthly for October. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.